We have three stories for you in this week's drone news update. The first one is the FAA acting administrator is out. The Mavic 3 Pro was released and then Sony announced some upgrades to its AirPeak. Let's get to it. As a first story this week, Bill Nolan, the FAA acting administrator, has announced his resignation from the agency starting this summer. Uh, he served as the FAA's deputy administrator before recently taking over as the acting administrator. Uh, during his tenure, he oversaw a bunch of implementations of several key feature aviation initiatives, and then also including the integration of unmanned aircraft into the national airspace system, uh, and then also the implementation of new pilot training requirements. Uh, his departure is coming at a time when the current administration is struggling to find a replacement uh, after Phil Washington withdrew from consideration. The FAA FAA has been under a lot of pressure after several near misses on the airline side, and then as well as Congress that's working on the upcoming Reauthorization Act. So we hope the FAA is not leaderless for too long. Uh, we need somebody in charge and we need the agency to, well, move forward. The second story this week is the release of this thing right here, which is the Mavic 3 Pro. Two models, the 3 Pro and the Pro Cine or the latest addition to the Mavic 3 lineup. And that brings it to a total of eight different variances, that's right, of the Mavic 3. That's kind of crazy. The 3 Pro is the new flagship. It has three sensors. You can see in the front here, three lenses. Uh, it covers a range from 28 millimeters to 70 millimeter to 166 millimeter. Uh, that's 1X, 3X, and 7X. The main sensor is still a 4 third sensor from all the other Mavic 3s, except for one, the 3 thermal. And then the same 7 an X sensor that we saw from the Mavic 3. No, it's not the sensor, that's 7X, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, the new half-inch sensor was added and it has the 3X camera on top of it. Uh, that will sport the D-Log-M, which is a new log format that is designed to improve the image quality. Now, the battery and the overall design remains exactly the same. You can see right here, the propellers are the same. Uh, we'll have more information about this drone as we spend more time with it, testing it thoroughly and uh, giving you some, uh, some comparison footage like we always do. Now, it also appears that with this release, DJI quietly took the Mavic 3 and the 3 Cine uh, out of the store, and then the 3 Classic and the 3 Pro are now the only two base models available uh, on the consumer side, at least. The other Enterprise one is still available as well. Now, the 3 Pro is priced at $21.99. Uh, that's the lowest point, and then $38.89, depending on how many uh, batteries you want and then the type of controller that you want, whether you want the, the, the regular RC or the RC Pro. Uh, and then you'll pay $47.99 for the Pro Cine version, uh, which uh, includes uh, internal SSD and then also has the ProRes uh, capability, just like the 3 Cine had. As the last story, Sony announced that they have new upgrades to the AirPeak drone. Now that includes an RTK positioning system, uh, a new gimbal, and actually new batteries as well, which is good news. That was my biggest complaint about that drone. Now, if you're not familiar, uh, the RTK is the system that provides a more accurate and more stable positioning uh, by using satellite navigation and uh, a ground-based station. Now, the RTK will be priced at $39.99. Uh, there's also a new gimbal, the Gremzy PX1, which uh, is priced at $39.99 as well, and is designed specifically for the AirPeak. It is compatible with the full-size mirrorless cameras, such as the A7 R A7R4, too many freaking numbers in here. And then <laughs> the new battery is expected to be a higher capacity than the previous one, uh, bringing the total flight time to now 20 minutes, which is, uh, which is a big deal. Uh, in this case, it's a pretty big drone. Uh, with a payload and then 30 minutes without a payload. Now, these batteries are expected to cost uh, $399. So. And that's it. Uh, quick reminder that we will be at AUVSI Exponential from May 9th to May 11th. That's in Denver. And we hope to see you there. Uh, make sure you stop by the booth, say hi, talk drones, do all that good stuff. And then also that Monday before that, we will have a live uh, Ask Greg Anything session uh, on Monday the 8th, the May 8th. And then uh, make sure you mark your calendars and uh, that's it. You have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.